could it actually get to a point in our lives where we become indifferent to hearing God's voice? Today we'll be talking about this right here on Sitam Church Online Youth Cafe. My name is Minda Waliki. In the previous video, uh, let me first comment for those who watched Asante Nisana, that means thank you in Swahili for watching and for those who haven't watched, please ensure you go and check out um, that video which is entitled Hearing God's Voice. Today we'll be looking at part 2 of this section where we're trying to tackle the issue of can we actually become indifferent to the voice of God where God speaks to us but for some reason we just don't want to listen either because we are grappling or we are struggling with something in our lives or because of one reason or another. The Cambridge Dictionary defines indifferent as not thinking about or interested in someone or something. That means, once again I'll read it, not thinking about or interested in someone or something. Again, in the last video, I was sharing with you guys from Matthew chapter 10 from verse 27, where we were trying to stress and understand um, that there can't be intimacy with God without privacy with Him. He says in His word that whatever He, procl we, he proclaims to us or we hear from Him in the dark, that is in the private, not necessarily a dark place or a dark room, but wherever it is that God um, speaks to us in a private setting, in our closet, in our rooms, um, that we need to also proclaim outside in public in the light and this means that many a times sometimes also you find uh, we want to say something probably in the public and we want to advocate for the voice of God we want to advocate for the word of God but for some reason we feel a bit um, shy or we feel ashamed we wonder what are these people going to think about me but today we want to look at this point and this aspect of can it actually get to a point in our lives as Christians where we become indifferent to the voice of God, where we are saying, I just don't care about what God is saying. It can actually get to that point. And we look at this from Job chapter 33 verse 14. It says, for God speaks once and even twice, yet no one notices it. I'll read that again. It says in Job chapter 33, chapter 33 from verse 14, For God speaks once and even twice, yet no one notices it. That means God just doesn't speak only once. He speaks even twice. And sometimes even more than two times. But for some reason, we fail to hear God's voice. But what are some of the things that can make us fail to hear the voice of God? What are some of the things that can make us say, I'm just not going to think about the voice of God and I'm not going to be interested about what God is doing. The first thing that makes us become indifferent to the voice of God is sin. What is sin? Sin is basically that which separates us from God, that which interferes with our relationship with God. Could be something that you're probably harboring in your heart, probably a, a bitterness, probably resentment, probably shame, probably anger that has made you not cultivate your relationship with God. So that's number one. Number two, also our own desires can make us become indifferent to the voice of God. As you're watching this video, you're running through your mind a few thoughts, a few ideas here and there, and you're asking yourself, God has spoken to me not once and not twice, but I just didn't notice. And even if, even if I noticed, I failed to pay much more attention to what God was telling me. It could be sin, could be your own desire, it could be something else. What is it that is making you become indifferent to the voice of God? I remember sharing with you guys and letting you know that God desires for us to get into an intimate relationship with Him. God desires that we speak to Him every single day. I'll give you an example uh, of somebody I was listening to, uh, a preacher, and uh, he was basically talking about hearing the voice of God and how, what it means to be in a relationship with God, being in an intimate relationship with God where God is your Father and He guides you and He speaks to you every day. 
and he was saying that many a times in in Kenya we use public means you know we use what we call matatus and uh, you get into a matatu and the voice of God speaks to you or you hear a voice telling you don't sit on this seat sit on that seat and this particular gentleman was giving this testimony was saying that when the Lord told him he had been waiting for a uh, uh, a taxi in their country they call it taxi he had been waiting for a taxi and he sat there for such a long time for about an hour the taxi came the taxi started filling up filling up filling up shortly it was already it was ready to go and somebody came in and complained and said you're seated on that seat i want to sit on that seat please move and uh, he decided to move you know because that the guy really really complained so he decided let me just move so when moving actually meant that he had to go to another vehicle and occupy another seat and allow this gentleman who was complaining to occupy the seat that he had sat on for one hour waiting for the taxi to be to get full or rather for people to occupy the vehicle and once the vehicle that he the second vehicle that he occupied uh, got full they went they left and not too far off uh, there was an accident and unfortunately the accident was that same same vehicle that he didn't board at that particular time and unfortunately the gentleman who was seated on that seat that he complained that he needs to sit on lost his two limbs that is he lost his two legs so this is what we are trying to say about having to become indifferent to the voice of God. God speaks to us not once, not twice. But the question is, what is God saying? Many a times we make it be about ourselves. Many a times we want God to be patient with us. But have we gotten to that point as Christians, as children of God, where we become patient with God? And tell God, God, whatever you want to do, I will flow with it because this is you in control. This is you in your glory. I challenge you today. What is that particular thing that is making you become indifferent to the voice of God? And that thing that is making you become indifferent to the voice of God, set it aside. Repent if it is sin, if it is your own volition, if it is your own desire, lay it at the foot of the cross because God wants to lead you and God's way is no other than the best way for our lives. Thank you so much for watching these videos. We look forward to engaging with you guys on our social media platforms. We are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, we are on Instagram. We are also on YouTube. We channel content every single day in the morning and in the evening. And there are also various culture influencers every single day. So we um, encourage you to engage with us on our comment sections, also our inbox section. We have online counseling, we have offline counseling. We are ready to assist you in the best way that we can. In the best way possible please do feel uh, free to also share this with your loved ones and be encouraged as you do so may the lord bless you once again thank you so much for watching and until next time god bless you